there was a knock on the door. Pinky looked at the lounge door. Another visitor, she said. Send her down. She got up and headed down the stairs. Fern looked at Macy and headed to the lobby. She stopped at the front door and opened it. Hello? she asked. There was a red pony standing at the door. Hi, she said. I'm looking for a strawberry. Strawberry? asked Fern. She came here earlier to deliver supplies. She hasn't come back yet. You could check with my employee, said Fern. Where's your employee? she asked. In the basement. Where is it? Follow me, said Fern, leading the pony into the lobby. This won't take long, will it? asked the pony. I need to get back to my little filly at home. Fern stopped and held back tears. Something wrong? asked the pony. You have to go, said Fern. What? asked the pony. But I haven't found Strawberry yet. She's dead! Fern screamed, whipping around. She had tears in her eyes. Now go! The pony looked frightened. She took a couple steps back before bolting out the door. Fern collapsed to the floor and just cried. She knew Pinky was going to kill her for this. But at least she felt good about saving a life. She pulled herself together and headed back into the lounge. She stopped as soon as she entered. Pinkie Pie stood at the other end of the lounge. Her eyes were narrowed, and Fern could have sworn she saw flames in her eyes. Macy was hunched against the wall, scared of what Pinkie might do. Pinkie took a few steps towards Fern. When Fern started to back away, Pinkie lunged. She tackled Fern to the floor. How could you? yelled Pinkie. How could you betray me again? After what I told you? I confess to you how I felt. That I like having you around. Why would you do this? I care about you. Fern's eyes widened, and she gasped. But now... Pinky paused. I have to kill you. No, you don't, said Fern. You can control this. You can stop this right now. You don't understand, said Pinky Pie. I have a reputation to keep. I have to kill you to send a message to the others. Please, don't, said Fern. Fern started to squirm as Pinky opened her mouth, revealing her metal tooth. A tear fell from her eye as she started to move forward, ready to bite Fern's neck. Just then there was a knock. Pinky stopped and closed her mouth. What time is it? Uh, said Macy, looking at the clock. Eight. Twilight, said Pinky. You want one last chance? She asked Fern. She nodded. Then, send Twilight down to the basement. Fern nodded, and Pinky headed downstairs. You gonna do it this time? asked Macy. Fern nodded and headed to the library. She got to the door and opened it. Hey again, said Twilight. Hey, said Fern. How can I help you? You can drop the act, said Twilight. What do you mean? I know you know who Pinkie Pie is, said Twilight. I think you've seen her. Fern sighed. All right, she said. Fine. I don't know where she is, but I know someone who does. He's in the basement, putting my supplies. You can ask him if you want. Most appreciated, said Twilight, following Fern to the lounge. He's right down the stairs, said Fern, pointing to a nearby door. Thanks again, said Twilight. She headed downstairs. Hello, she called as she entered the basement. Any pony here? I'm here. Twilight spun around as Pinky held her against the wall. So, said Twilight, this is where you've been hiding? Surprise, said Pinky. I'm surprised you came alone. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Are the two ponies upstairs working for you? Unwillingly, yes, said Pinky. So, Apple Bloom wasn't enough asked Twilight. You had to go and corrupt two others? Apple Bloom, 
Pinky started. Apple Bloom was great, but I found better. You're sick, said Twilight. Pinky grinned. You're just realizing this? <laughs> That's sad. I must say, I'm surprised you stayed, said Twilight. I figured it would have thrown off the Royal Guard. Exactly, said Pinky with a smile. So, what happens now? Well, said Pinky, I was thinking of chewing off your limbs one by one, saving your head for last. Whoa, said Twilight. Chew? What happened to the cupcakes? Where have you been? asked Pinky. I got a taste for flesh now. That's disgusting, said Twilight. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet, said Pinky. She opened her mouth, revealing her metal tooth. Twilight tried to use magic to manipulate Pinky, but it didn't work. She wasn't powerful enough. She then tried to wrestle herself free, but Pinky was too strong. She then held still and waited for the end. Just before biting Twilight's neck, Macy knocked Pinky Pie to the ground. She then stood next to Twilight. Get out of here, said Macy. Twilight took one last look at Pinkie Pie before heading upstairs. You, yelled Pinky, getting back up. I am so going to kill you. Macy took off up the stairs, but Pinkie Pie followed her. As Macy got halfway up the stairs, Pinkie hit her legs, causing her to fall down. Pinkie got above her, and Macy kicked her, sending her falling back down the stairs. Macy ran to the lounge to join Fern and Twilight. We're in trouble, aren't we? asked Fern. Macy nodded. So, who are you two, and how did you meet Pinkie Pie? asked Twilight. I'm Fern, and this is... Macy! yelled Pinkie Pie, standing in the doorway to the basement of the stairs. You are so dead! Uh-oh, said Macy. Fern, said Pinkie Pie. You can still come out of this alive, she said, walking up to her. Twilight and Macy backed away. All you have to do is kill Macy. Fern looked at Macy. All I have to do, she asked, and you'll let me live. That's right, said Pinky, smiling. Fern, said Macy, softly. No. I'm sorry, Pinky, said Fern, looking back at Pinkie Pie. But I couldn't let my uh, live with myself if I let you harm her. Fern, said Pinky, sternly. Kill her. Now. I guess you didn't hear me, said Fern. No. Pinkie Pie let out a growl as she tackled Fern to the floor. She bit Fern on the front leg with her sharp tooth, and Fern let out a cry of pain. She pulled back, blood covering the rim of her mouth. Why couldn't you just do what I asked? asked Pinkie, a tear falling from her eye. Twilight saw this and was shocked. I never wanted to hurt you. Why are you making me? I'm not, said Fern. I gave you one last chance, and you failed me. Again. Now. Another tear fell from her eye. You have to die. She opened her mouth and moved in closer. But before she could kill Fern, she arched back and yelled in pain. Macy had used her magic to stab Pinky in the back with a kitchen knife. Fern slid out from under Pinky and joined Macy in Twilight. Quick, said Twilight, while she's down. She, Fern, and Macy all ran outside. Pinky got to her feet and stumbled over the basement door. She positioned the knife handle in the path of the door and slammed it shut. The door closed on the knife handle, and Pinky held the door as she jerked forward. The knife's blade slid out of her back as she fell to the floor. The door opened and the knife fell to the ground. Pinky got up and took off through the lobby. She burst through the front door and stood outside. Twilight, Fern, and Macy were standing in front of her. And so was Trixie, Fluttershy, Rarity, and Applejack. <laughs>